Okay, so listen. Our regular crime, our regular case that we've been following is on a break this week. So this week we're doing other cases. But first of all, I finally finished my attic so that I could record up here, forgetting that attics are hot. And then when I add lights so you can see my bright and shiny face, I'm sweating like, I'm glistening like a pig up here. So I got to make this quick. But listen, this week, true crime gets personal. And that is, I'm going to tell you the true, true crime stories that I am personally associated with. Oh yes, I told you I would tell you about the time I got read my rights. We're going to get to that. That might be tomorrow. Tonight, we are talking about one of the friends of our true crime, our true crime collective that he, that's here, that joins here for gossip. Gossips, one of us knows Shauna Nelson. Now listen, you probably heard about Miss Shauna because she has been all over Dateline and Snapped and every other... Everybody is talking about the trifling behind Miss Shauna Nelson over there in Greeley, Greeley, Colorado. Child, she was a mess. So look, she comes from a troubled home life, but many people come from troubled home lives. That does not mean you could be out here killing people. But anyway, so Shauna comes from a troubled home life. She was not raised by her mama. She was raised by her auntie. That doesn't seem so bad, but the family lied to her and was like, this is your real mom. And that lady over there, she's your auntie. I, I, Freaky Friday. I don't know what is happening. But anyway, a lot of lies in that family. And Shauna dealt with her trauma and troubledness by being a, a garden tool. A hoe to be specifically, but we're going to refer to her as a garden tool. So Miss Shauna goes over and she gets herself a job um, at the police station. She's a dispatcher and she's a very good dispatcher. She's like Adam Breaker 19. I don't know police dispatcher talk, but you know what I mean. She was telling the police where to go and all of that. And everybody knew her. Also, they knew her in the biblical sense as well. She was the community bicycle. Everybody got a ride. So she married a nice man, Mr. Nelson. And then she saw this one police officer, Ig something or other. His name was Ignatius, but they called him Ig. And Ig is the one who all of this fuss was over. And I looked at him and I was like, him? Okay, whatever. So she's sleeping with her husband, like you do, had two kids with him. And then she was also sleeping with Ig over at work. She was also sleeping with this other lady who was also a police officer. I'm not sure if she was just uh, bisexual or really proficient at being a garden tool. Whatever. Ooh, child, was hot. So it's hot like the hell that Shauna's gonna burn in for all the mess she got into. So she's having this affair with Ig. For three years, not for like three months, three minutes, three years. So she's sleeping with this dude. He's going home to his wife and his child acting like everything is fine. Meanwhile, he's over at the job sleeping with Shauna, the dispatcher. Well, Shauna, because she's the dispatcher, oh, she got everybody's phone number. She knows where you live. She knows where you are any minute of the day. And so Shauna knew that um, if Igg's wife finds out that he's sleeping around, oh, she's going to leave. Because this wife, Heather, she's not having that. Heather Garris, she's like, mm -mm. let me tell you something, Igg. You step out on me. You step out of this whole house. You step out this family. I'm not dealing with it. So Shauna was like, I know your wife because this is a small town and everybody knows everybody's business. So if you stop sleeping with me, I'm going to tell your wife. And he was like, oh no, please don't do that. This is his story. So she, he, Egg says she forced him into uh, relations. How did she force it? How, I, how did he gain to mescence if this was a forced situation? Okay, I don't know how all that worked. But um, according to Ig, he was being blackmailed and forced to have relations with this woman. And then she got pregnant. Like you do when you have a relations. Also, like you do when you a garden tool. And so she was like, I was going to tell him, but first I got drunk. Girl, you you pregnant and you got drunk. Okay. So um, she was going to go tell Ig and have a conversation about the fact that she was all knocked up with his baby and not her husband's baby. And they were all at the same party. And then Ig left early. And so um, Shana got mad and went and cussed out Ig's wife. Ig's wife, Heather, I have nothing to do with this. Why are you calling her out her name? So Ig was like, okay, calm down, drunk pregnant lady. You need to terminate that pregnancy. And she was like, oh, okay. So she went and terminated the pregnancy. And then they continued to have relations. In my opinion, everybody in this story is stupid. Not the dead lady, but like Ig and uh, Shauna, dumb, dumb, dumb. So they keep doing their thing. And finally he's like, 
I can't take it. I'm just going to come clean to my wife and tell her everything. And I'm going to get rid of this crazy behind Shauna because we know she's crazy. She's stalking me. She's hunting me down. She's making sure that like I keep giving it to her, you know, the way she likes. So finally he went to his wife and he was like, Heather, babe, um, I've been having an affair with Shauna. And Heather was like, wait, Shauna called me just a couple of weeks ago and said, don't believe the rumors that um, you weren't having an affair. And he was like, yeah, she lied. But I want to stay with you. And Heather was like, I told you, if you cheat, you're out of here. You're out of here. So she kicked him out of the house for only one day. I understand love. I understand forgiveness. I also understand the slashing of tires. What I don't understand is taking this man back, but I have never been in that situation. So who am I to talk? I'm not going to judge her. So she takes her husband back and they keep rolling Mary along. So um, Shauna's husband divorces her. Seems sensible to me. And then Shauna continues to sleep with Ig, even though everybody has promised, oh, we not still doing that then. They still sleeping together as she gets pregnant again. And Ig is like, no, this time, once and for all, my wife knows you can't hold that over me. I'm done with you. It's over. So Shauna goes crying to her almost ex-husband like, I'm pregnant and I terminated the pregnancy before and he's leaving me, blah, blah, blah. You know she was in an ugly cry, right? All the mascara's running. She's pitiful. She's sad. And the husband, who seemed like a decent guy, was like, okay, so me and you will get back together and we'll just raise the baby as ours and nobody will know the difference. Well, everybody in town, because you know it's a small town, everybody was like, you know whose baby that is, right? You know who she was sleeping with. And if I know anything, Shauna was still probably passing it out. You know what I mean? Giving it up out of both draw legs, as my daddy used to say. So um, Shauna was like, yeah, I'm still passing it around, but um, now I have this nice baby. And so I'm just going to live my happy life with my baby and my husband and my girlfriend on the side and all my children. And it's all going to be good. And Egg is over here living his happy life with his wife, Heather, and they have one child and everything is cool. But then Shauna was like, you're not getting rid of me that easy because you know crazy is gonna crazy. So she got herself a Halloween mask. Well, first she plotted with her little girlfriend, her BFF, also her lover, who also happened to be a police deputy. And she was like, hey, police deputy girlfriend, um, your hair is so pretty. You know what this was like, pillow talk then. If I was gonna murder her, what would I need to do? How do I cover up my DNA? so much so she took all the tips that she got from the pillow talk and she used them to go and murder Ig's wife Heather and she didn't just like sneak up on her and like bonk her in the head with a skillet oh no 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 she waited until Shauna was leaving work and then she was like get on the ground she had on like a a grim reaper um what do you call it like one of those big hoods with a mask she goes disguises herself shoots Shauna twice in the head in the parking lot in front of her co-workers and runs off and jumps in her husband's truck and speeds away. Well, listen, all the car workers was like, it's that crazy heifer that was sleeping with her husband. That's who killed her. You should go pick her up. So two minutes later, knock, knock, knock. The police are at her door. Actually, I think they stopped her before she even got home. And they were like, uh, girl, wear your shoes. How come you dressed in a Halloween costume? What are you doing? And so her husband was like, I'm going to kill you. What have you been up to? Blah, blah, blah. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I just went to the store to get a little wine. And um, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. So they take her down to the police station. Down at the police station, she's talking to the policeman like, um, I don't, I just, I want to get a bottle of wine. Is it illegal to buy wine? I don't know. And he was like, Shauna, just tell me the truth. And she was like, remember that time I gave you a handy right in this very room? Want to do that again? Want to play slap and tickle? And he was like, Shauna calm down I mean that's not really what happened in my imagination that's what happened but he talked to her very calmly and I suspect that she was trying to give him favors to not arrest her but he arrested her anyway but right before he did he was like I'm, you know what they do I'm gonna give you these nice bracelets I'm gonna read you all your rights and everything and she's like I guess I need a lawyer then but can you give me a hug first and then she rubbed her boobies on him because I saw that on the tape so um, she went and she got herself a lawyer and the lawyer was like, it was not her. Yes, her DNA is on everything associated with this case. And yes, she has a baby. And yes, she sent um, threatening text messages to everybody involved. But it 
it wasn't her. She has a really good excuse. And so she got on the stand and she told the biggest lie ever. You remember when um Shirley Garrett, Shirley Merritt's no good son got up and told that crazy, crazy lie about what happened to his mom? Honey, Shauna's story was just as ridiculous. She was like, I was going to take a bath and I pooped on myself and I put on some dirty clothes and I didn't put on shoes and I went to buy wine child. It was a whole mess. I don't know what the whole story was, but it included her pooping on herself, not taking a bath and killing somebody. And the jury took six hours, which I was like, oh, that's lunch and possibly into dinner. I wonder if they got a breakfast sandwich. Do they have bagels out there in Greeley, Colorado? Somebody from Greeley, please tell me about your bagel situation because a bagel is a must if you're going to have a high carb breakfast. Anyway, so they convicted her and sent her to prison for life. And she's like, I don't know why they think I did this. And now she is spending the rest of her natural life over there in the Colorado Center for uh correcting women they locked her up she's getting hand jobs and bologna casserole for the rest of her life for dinner oh and she's probably going to hades like the temperature in this attic right now listen i'm hot i'm just i'm not even gonna edit this not that i edit anyway you've seen these videos child i don't edit i'm just gonna throw this up downstairs in the air conditioning how can we get some air conditioning up oh but the air, i had it on but it was noisy that's why i turned it off okay anyway i'm about to burst into flames tomorrow i'm gonna tell you what happened when i got taken to the police station and read my rights i'll probably do that in the morning oh happy independence day we can celebrate the fact that I am independent and uh, did not end up going to jail. Okay, like this video, pretty please and thank you. And subscribe if you have not already. And I will talk to you later. Bye.